Hello folks, this is Ayatan Aja from InspireToRise.com and recently the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 received the update for Android Noga based Mi Y9 via the developer ROM and it has changed quite a lot of things. So what are all of those things and has the performance really improved and has this device reclaimed the king title it had in the sub 15k bracket after this update. So guys, I will tell you this and a lot more in today's video. So guys, this is still the developer ROM for the Redmi Note 4. It's still not the stable build. The stable build is still stuck on MIUI 8, 8.2.10.0 and that build still has some issues. Battery life is still dismal on that build and after updating to me y9 on this build what are all of the things that have changed so the battery life has improved on this device now consistently getting around six hours of screen on time and maybe even more when using in different conditions and maybe just the wi-fi on and not the geo 4g Apart from this, the system animations have improved a lot. A lot of app closing and app opening animations have improved and they look quite good on the MIUI 9. Though the UI has not been overhauled to a really great extent, there is no drastic change around. But still there are some subtle changes here and there which make the overall experience slightly better than before. The performance in general seems to be quite better than before as scrolling between different applications shifting between applications scrolling through long form content on facebook or instagram shows you no hiccups now that is something that has been improved and now i'm going to show you a few of the screenshots of few of the popular benchmark applications so that you can know what changes are there in the scores after the miui 9 update Now the changelog for MIUI 9 states that it has some deep level system optimizations. I don't know what that means but I know that the phone has become better and it has new icons which are visible, new animations for launching and exiting apps which are really visible, simpler home screen editing plus for that. With the Android Nougat update, it also has the split screen support now, that's also great. It has an improved silent mode now, which can be triggered by the volume button and has improved readability for the start page of messaging application. Some of the highlights for this update are that it has improved protection from unintentional tapping on the dial pad of the phone and same can be said for the contacts application. There is no clear change in terms of camera performance. It almost seems same as before. It all depends upon how great pictures that you can take. But still, I believe that the Redmi Note 4, the one front that it lacks on is the camera. The camera on this device is definitely not the best in class for the price. And there are better phones in the price range still, which take great photos. Maybe they can fix this with a future software update. But still, till this point of time, it's not really that great camera. So guys, the MIUI 9 developer ROM update was around 1.4 gigabytes and in case you want to install it on your Redmi Note 4, here are a few pointers. Don't install it if you don't want to get stuck on a developer ROM because at the end of the day, it's still a developer ROM and though you would get regular updates on every second Tuesday of the month, Still, I would say that you should stay on a stable release if you are somebody who does not like to take risk for their smartphones. But if you are somebody who believes in thug life like me, then go ahead and go to en.miui.com, download the Redmi Note 4 Global Edition Developer ROM and just use the updater application on your mobile phone to install the zip package and get started with using the Android N on the MIUI 9. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech videos like this. And we also have a new Hindi channel, Inspire to Hindi, in case you are somebody who prefers videos in Shuddha Hindi, so you can go and subscribe to that one also. And guys, no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.